Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think we owe a debt of gratitude to ABC for putting aside their television ratings war for one night and devote this solely to the art of motion pictures. As Mork from Ork was telling me backstage. And he's about to introduce the first honorary award. Here's America's newest comedy sensation, a young man who is about to star as Popeye in his very first movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Williams. Thank you, good evening, and for those of you with a buzz on, thank you, good evening. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ever since the beginning of time, producers and directors have been searching for a method of presenting entertainment without the need for actors. Their dream finally came true with the discovery of animation. A character in an animated film will not only do what the artist commands him to do, he'll never rewrite dialogue, he'll never ask for motivation, he'll never go through puberty, and best of all, he'll never have an agent. Tonight, the Board of Governors of the Academy bestows an honorary award to one of the most respected and beloved producers of animation. For 60 years, he's been creating delightful characters for both adults and children alike, and been the pleasure of many generations. In over 80 countries all around the world, his name is Walter Lance. On behalf of the Academy, I'm happy to give you this award for doing strange and wonderful things with a laughing bird. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you like to meet Woody? Oh, you mean he's not at Michael's pub? He's here tonight? <laughs> yes, he's here. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I have one question I'd like to ask. Is it true what the National Enquirer said about he and Betty Boop? You better ask him yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Robin, this is Woody. Woody, meet Robin. Whoa. What's happening, my main wazo? Huh? Listen, you're looking good after 40 years. Hey, I've got a dynamite deal on some uncut redwood. All you have to do is knock twice and ask for Smokey. <laughs> he likes me? Yes. That's his way of saying he's happy to meet you. I'd oh. also like to say thanks to this man, Walter Lance, who's been drawing me and a very nice paycheck, too, for over 38 years. I'm one bird in his hand that's worth a lot more than two in the bush, not wood. Congratulations, boss. And to Gracie, too, who's been putting words in my mouth all these years. You're both tap, tap, taps in my book. <laughs> Bye now. I'd like to thank the Board of Governors of the Academy for this great honor. I really appreciate the Oscar, not only for my contribution to the art of animation, but also as a tribute to the entire cartoon industry and to Universal Pictures, with whom I've been associated for 50 years. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Thomas is about to come out here and explain the voting procedures for the Academy Awards. For you people watching at home, this might be a good time to go into the kitchen and make some more dip. Uh, Danny just paid George Burns a big compliment backstage. He said, George, I saw you in Oh God, and you really captured me. George uh, had his cigar as usual and exhaled a big puff of white smoke, and Danny headed for Rome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Mr. Danny Thomas. Thank you very much, John. Ladies and gentlemen, each year the Academy chooses a star to make him an unknown. And tonight, I'm the one. I'm about to read you your rights. We have to first advise you of all the voting procedures which are carried out by the active members of the Academy. Of all the categories, there's only one in which all members may nominate, and that is for Outstanding Picture of the Year. 
The others are decided by the members of the various individual branches. However, <laughs> there are three categories that are determined in an entirely different manner. In the case of the documentaries, the short subjects and the foreign films, only members who attend all the Academy screenings of these films cast a vote. Then, <laughs> when all the nominations are complete, the entire membership may vote on all the categories, in secret, of course. And the ballots are collected by the Academy's venerable body of independent accountants, Price, Waterhouse, and company. The final results <laughs> are known only to two men, the exceedingly reticent Mr. Frank R. Johnson, who along with his assistant, John Blair, is here with the envelopes, which mean so much to so few. John. <laughs> I thank you very much, and may the Lord bless you all. What Danny was trying to say is the person who gets the most votes wins.